Welcome, everybody. We're back with Living in Barrie. And today I'm going to teach you a little bit about assignment deals. So assignment deals are deals where there is pre-construction. Um, the houses or the condo is not built yet. And they assign the buyer the original agreement of purchase and sale to somebody else. So we are basically, as a purchaser, buying their contract to purchase. Everything within that contract, we have to abide by. So there's no negotiating. There's no, you know, I want to change the closing. I want to do this. I, no. You also have to reimburse them the fees they've put in when you firm up the assignment. So if I had to give the builder 20,000 and then another 20 and then another 20, and right now I have $100,000 in there, then you have to give me the $100,000. You have to give me my deposit back. And often, because the assignment is a year or two after the original phase of building came out, you're actually asking 40,000 more, 50,000, 80,000, because it's gained value since the original contract was made. Now, there's a lot of builders that don't allow assignments. It could be a builder agreement is like a 40, 50 page document. And they can have in there that you cannot assign the deal. Assignments are in general for speculators. So I buy it in phase one. I know that in two, three years, when it actually is going to get closing, that it's going to be worth $100,000 more. So I've given a deposit, signed the contract, but I don't ever intend to close on the deal. Like I'm never going to close and get a mortgage on this property. I'm just going to assign it to somebody else and make profit. So a lot of builders have put it in their contracts that you can't do that. Other ones have a certain amount you have to pay them if you assign it. This is a very, very tricky area because say you can't move in in two years and it has nothing to do with speculation. You just, something happened in your life and you can't close on the deal and you can't move in and you want to sell the deal to somebody else. They can, I know in Barrie right now, there's some assignment deals going on with condos by the water. They're not allowed to advertise. They are allowed to assign it, but they can't list the property on realtor.ca. They can't put it on Kijiji. So it's basically word of mouth, trying to just get the assignment done through other people and you know, under the table, basically. Now, some of those people, I know two people that have bought on the assignment and one of them only had to pay the builder $7,000 and the other one had to pay the builder twenty dollars or $30,000. When they negotiated up front and bought the, the property when the builder first released it, some people's lawyers, some purchasers' lawyers made the clause that if there's an assignment deal, that the amount of money they had to pay the builder was much lower. So now if I want to assign that deal and, and the buyer has to make up the difference, like they got to pay the eight grand that I got to pay the builder. But if it's 20 or $30,000, that's a huge difference. So you have to really be careful when you're buying off a builder that's got a two or three year closing that if they do allow assignments, that you make sure the cost of that is reasonable. Because if something does happen and you can't close the deal, you need 20 or 30,000 more than the guy that negotiated the six grand, right? So some lawyers were smart enough to put that clause in there and make it a smaller amount and some didn't bother with it. The builder contracts are very, very, very technical. And I always, when I buy with the client, I always do it on lawyer approval because they can change the closing date. They can, I think up to three times, 
um, with 30 day notification. Now some will give you 60, some say 90. That's what I mean. Like they can up the construction costs. So in the matter of two or three years, if construction costs have gone through the roof, they can stick another 50 grand on the price. So assignment deals and new builds, I always get lawyer approval because I'm not a lawyer and these things are technical and you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. I know the basic, um, as real estate agents, we know the basics of purchasing a property, but a new build, um, every single builder is different. So it's not like a standard form that we look at and it's it's like huge, like this huge bunch of paperwork. So lawyer approval is definitely what you want. And there are some assignment deals in Barrie right now, but they're not listed. You know, you can't find them. Um, it's tricky. And if you are buying on speculation, you definitely need to make sure that's the first thing you should ask. Can I sign the deal? Because if you can't, and that's what your goal is, you're going to be out of luck. So I hope that helps you a little bit on understanding what an assignment deal is and a little bit about what to look out for when you're buying pre-construction. And this is Diane Nito from Sutton in Barrie. And if you have any other questions or any interest in anything, hit the like, the subscribe, and you'll get my new videos right away.